I'm David Learmont, Flight Global's Operations and Safety Editor. Today, the French Air Accident Investigator, the BEA, published its final report on the Air France 447 accident that happened on the 1st of June 2009. Because the BEA had already released interim reports, the findings were not unexpected, but that does not make them any the less significant. The cause of the accident was a combination of the temporary loss of airspeed data because of pitot tube icing and the failure of the pilots to apply the drill that applies uh, to uncertain airspeed readings. This was compounded, according to the BEA, by inappropriate control inputs by the pilot flying immediately after the airspeed problem arose, which put the aircraft outside its flight envelope within a minute. Although the situation was recoverable for some time, eventually the aircraft went beyond recovery because of a failure by the pilots to recognize the situation and to correct their control inputs accordingly. The BEA says that despite stall warnings, the crew never understood they were stalling. When the aircraft was in its terminal stalled descent, falling at more than three kilometers a minute, the crew mistook the stall buffeting and the unfamiliar aerodynamic noise for being an overspeed condition when in fact it was the opposite, an underspeed condition. The BEA understands it's not enough to blame the pilots and its report asks the question why the crew were not able to cope. It blames the pilot training regime which is too narrow and prescriptive for modern airline flying and does not take account of the high levels of automation that today's pilots take for granted. Air France didn't break any training rules, says the BEA, but regulatory guidelines on what pilots must be trained for does not include stall recovery, particularly stall recovery at high altitudes. So those pilots were totally unprepared for what happened on this flight. The BEA recommends that training for handling the aircraft close to the edges of its flight envelope should be included in pilots' recurrent training and that simulators' fidelity in those flight regimes should be improved to make such training possible. The main recommendation affecting Airbus is that its aircraft should provide the crews with a direct reading of the aircraft's angle of attack because that has a direct relationship with stalling and the stalled condition. 